Ezekiel chapter 26. We're going to pick up another nation, Tyre, the next couple of chapters. And it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Dated, prophecy, son of man, because that Tyrus has said against Jerusalem, Aha! She's broken that was she is broken that was the gates of the people. She's turned unto me, I shall be replenished. Now shall now she is laid waste. And we've already seen that again. We've seen that in the last chapter, uh, verse number 3 of the Ammonites. And we've already discussed in the last chapter, you better be careful what you say about those Jewish people. What is the sin of Tyrus? Ha ha, look at her. She's destroyed. Now I'm going to fill myself up with all the riches, all the slain, and all the spoil. I'm going to go in there and loot the city. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I am against thee. Did Tyre do anything? Did Tyrus do anything to capture Israel? Absolutely not. She just spoke, O Tyrus, and will cause many nations to come upon thee, as the sea causes its waves to come up. And they shall destroy the walls of Tyrus and break down her towers. I will also scrape her dust from her and make her like the top of a rock. It shall be a place for the spreading of nets in the midst of the sea. For I have spoken it, saith the Lord God, it shall become a spoil to the nation. And her daughters which are in the field shall be slain by the sword, war. And they shall know that I am the Lord. Now let me do a really quick before we finish this chapter. On Tyre. Tyre is a sea coast on the Mediterranean Sea. It's on Asian Minor, up north of Israel itself. Now Tyre sat as a sea coast. She was attacked by Nebuchadnezzar. She's attacked by Alexander the Great. Her sea uh, Coast City was destroyed. They moved the entire city to an island and set up their city there on an island on a rock. Alexander the Great came and grabbed rocks, timbers, anything his army could and built a causeway to this city, destroyed the city exactly as Ezekiel 26 said it will be. So when you read, as we're reading here, to scrape the dust from her and make her like the top of a rock, it shall be a place for the spreading of nets in the midst of the sea. There is this place in the Mediterranean Sea today. It's a pile of rocks. And guess what fishermen do with their nets? They spread their nets to dry them on these rocks, which sat the city of Tyre. For thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will bring upon Tyrus the first Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, 550 B.C. A king of kings, not king of kings, but a king of kings. From the north, with horses, with chariots, with horsemen, with co and companies, and much people. He shall slay with the sword thy daughters in the field. He shall make a fort against thee, and cast a mount against thee, and lift up the buckler against thee. Exactly what he does. By reason of the abundance of his horses, their dust shall cover thee. Thy wall shall shake at the noise of the horsemen, and of the wheels, and of the chariot. There's that wheels, and there's the chariots again. It's not the wheels of the chariots. It's, the, it's a wheel... And chariots, chariots have wheels, when he shall enter into thy gates, as men enter a city wherein, wherein is made a breach. So God says Nebuchadnezzar is going to break through, as he does into Tyre. With the hoofs of his horses shall he tread down all thy streets. He shall slay thy people by the sword, and thy strong garrisons, the supplies 
of the military shall go down to the ground. And they shall make a spoil of thy riches, and make a prey of thy merchandise. And they shall break down thy walls, and destroy thy pleasant houses. And they shall lay thy stones and thy timber and thy dust in the midst of the water. And that's exactly what Alexander the Great did. He took the old city of Tyre and went against the new city of Tyre. And this, this timber, the stones, in the midst of the water is a causeway. I will cause the noise of thy songs to cease. And the sound of thy harps shall be no more heard. Exactly it is today. Gone. Destroyed. Totally. I will make thee like the top of a rock. What's on top of a rock? Absolutely nothing. Just dust. Thou shalt be a place to spread nets upon, exactly as it is. Thou shalt be built no more, and it hasn't, and it will not be. For I, the Lord, have spoken it, saith the Lord God. And all they did was, all they were, they were just happy that Jerusalem fell. And we're going to go take the spoil. Thus saith the Lord God to Tyrus. Shall not the isles shake at the sound of thy fall? They were a great seaport. They had great merchandise. They had great people. When the wounded cry, when the slaughter is made in the midst of thee, then all the princes of the sea shall come down from their thrones and lay away their robes, put off their broidered garments. They shall clothe themselves with trembling. They shall sit upon the ground and shall tremble at every moment and be astonished in thee. Now you see this also alike when Babylon is fallen in Revelation. Now Babylon is not Tyre and Tyre is not Babylon. But oh, when we get to Ezekiel 28 and we talk about the king of Babylon. Something interesting. Wait till we get, we get to Ezekiel 28 and we talk about Tyre and her king. And they shall take up a lamentation for thee, and say to thee, How art thou destroyed, that was inhabited for seafaring men? And the lamentation of Tyre is in chapter 27. How art thou destroyed, that was inhabited by seafaring men, sailors? The renowned city, which was strong in the sea, she and her inhabitants, which caused their terror to be on all that haunted, living in. And when a ghost haunts a house, he's living in that house. Now shall the isles tremble in the day of thy fall. Yea, the isles that are in the sea shall be troubled at thy departure. For thus say, imagine what, what America will be if, if Walmart ever fell down to the ground. If it completely went bankrupt, destroyed, gone, nothing more to be ever at Walmart. What would be the terror cry of the, of the United States of America? Now shall the isles tremble in the day of thy fall. Yea, the isles that are in the sea shall be troubled at thy departure. For thus saith the Lord God, when I shall make thee a desolate city, like the cities that are not inhabited, when I shall bring up the deep upon thee, and great waters shall cover thee. The Mediterranean Sea. Alexander the Great ruins this city to, when the tide or whatever over there is gone. It's just a couple of rocks sticking out of the ground. And you probably can find a picture on the Google or uh, Yahoo. When I shall bring thee down with them that descend into the pit, hell, with the people of old time, I shall set thee in the low parts of the earth, hell, in places desolate of old, with them that go down to the pit. They're going to go to hell with everyone else. With them that go down to the pit, that thou be not inhabited the city. I shall set glory in the land of the living. I will make thee a terror, and thou shalt be no more. Though thou be sought for, yet shalt thou never be found again. You'll never go see Tyre built again. Saith the Lord God. And we're not done. we got 27 and 28 to talk about this city. We're going to get in detail about this city. And all this city said is, ha ha, look at God's people. They're gone. We got people in this country who are allowed to say things against the Jewish people, and they are allowed and let in. 
Gotta watch what you say.